sir we have created a uh, new startup called uh, mars agri consulting which is headquartered in hyderabad telangana uh, this is the project for uh, group number 9 subhashni can you continue yeah wow. so uh, our company mars agri consulting we have a team of highly specialized agricultural operations expert which will provide with the reasonable solutions for the most demanding problems in the fertilizer segment of farming uh, next slide please wow. our vision mission and values our vision is improved rural livelihood and sustainable agriculture we aim at providing sustainable solutions to agricultural problems we attempt to shed light on the critical role of nanotechnology in particular pertaining to modern farming practices its potential in developing smart fertilizers speci specifically nano fertilizers our goal is to provide the farmers with the best solutions to help them grow better crops while maintaining the sanctity of their soil Um, our hands-on farming solutions will provide the farmers with the result that they desire, keeping sustainability as our ultimate goal. Our values have we we have high uh, high value for environment uh, to uh, maintain the uh, to conserve conserve the environment and ecosystem. We have a professional, effective, and informed relevant sciences and its technology applicable in the agricultural domain. we believe in creativity flexibility innovativeness we have fixed our aim but we are very flexible with our method to achieve it now uh, quality equality and ethics is what we believe in along with the passion next slide coming toward the market research report uh, before starting our project we did a uh, small market research report up, uh, upon the agri input sector of nano fertilizer in the indian market the aim for our study was to uh, know and uh, acquire the knowledge of uh, what is the farmers behavior towards a different fertilizer and what are the r&d facilities that the different companies and laboratories are using uh, we the uh, study was focused on the uh, what will be the uh, requirement of the farmers if a, a nano fertilizer or the new kind of fertilizer is introduced in the market is there a, a total awareness between the farmers regarding the nano fertilizers or are they uh, knowing what kind of fertilizer they uh, need to use for their crops so uh, we used a quantitative data collection method to uh, for this research report by uh, using a survey questionnaire we presented a questionnaire to uh, many of the uh, people and gathered this data information as per our uh, survey information we found that around 71.2% of the uh, population knows about nano fertilizer but the problem here arises that they actually uh, only heard about the nano fertilizer they don't know the uh, benefits or the how to use this particular kind of fertilizer and uh, even when suggesting that uh, whether they should go for an organic fertilizer or a nano fertilizer most of the population was going towards the organic fertilizer only because they don't know how and what are the profits of the nano fertilizer even they were uh, ready to spend more on the nano fertilizer rather than the traditional fertilizer because uh, also uh, when asked about the availability of the nano fertilizer in the uh, market we found that uh, the nano fertilizers are not uh, usually available in the local market or in local retail shop so uh, that also constrains the farmers to use the nano fertilizer at because they are not uh, as nano fertilizers are not accessible to them also asking about if uh, uh, what kind of information they would require so uh, more than 62.7% uh, of the farmers uh, told us that they would require a different kind of uh, information like uh, how they will be uh, using that uh, fertilizer and what kind of nutrient is uh, uh, necessary for their crop also uh, right now most of the farmers are using mostly urea then uh, dap then mop over to uh, subhashini ma'am after the market research we uh, we identify certain problems which we would uh, we as a company would like to address and bridge the gap of there are uh, i would like to say that there are many problems and we have one solution that is our company so uh, first problem is there is very uh, there is almost no adequate advisory available for farmers with regard to the optimum use of fertilizers and uh, specifically nano fertilizers as of, uh, as it has been already mentioned 
farmers are not very well aware of the application timely application and method of application so um, another problem that we found is environmental degradation problem and sustainability and next problem is companies uh, uh, for their research and development they require real time accurate and credible data for investing and planning in their research and development uh, uh, activity so um, our company will focus on providing testing facilities to farmers in fertilizer use efficiency introducing and spreading awareness about nano fertilizers as a solution for reducing expenditure increasing yield and keeping the sustainability in line as well since the green revolution chemical fertilizers are deemed an indispensable input for modern crop production system but these have associated environmental and ecological consequences loss of nutrient from agricultural field in the form of leaching and um, gaseous emissions has been the leading cause of uh, like cause of uh, environmental pollution and climate change ensuring the sustainability of crop production necessitates the exploring of other uh, sources of nutrient and modifying prevalent nutrient resources which we as a company will provide data for the research and development our company will collect real time data by working closely with the farmers and fertilizer dealers and collaborate with companies to help them in forming their research and development uh, further to develop the fertilizers which which are required and are in line with the end consumer demand that is farmers Next slide, please. So, yes, sir, we're from Bismuth. So, so we conducted a market research survey. So, we came to know that more than around sixty percent of people they don't have access to the nano fertilizers, and most of them they're lacking the knowledge regarding the way of application and the time of publication and even dosage requirements. So, it gives a it gives us a space and opportunity. I mean, where we can start off from the consultancy firm. So, the target group for a Our consultants firm consists of you know FPOs and farmers, uh, certainly fertilizer dealers, retailers, and also big companies, MNCs, some manufacturers and manufacturing com companies, and some research institutes. And you know, so I mean, being consultancy firm, you know, the data we collect and data we process, it will be very useful for the research institutes, so that they can uh, use it for the further studies. And it it can also can be used by nano fertilizer manufacturing companies. They can use this data for in, into their R and D project projects. So, if you look at the competitors, so after uh, studying profoundly, we had a couple of uh, couple of powerful competitors to our business. So one of the competitor for us is Avalon Con Consulting. Avalon Consulting. So it was set up in nineteen eighty nine. So it is actually an Indian firm, but it is the first Indian firm to achieve uh, uh, Asia's Top ranked consulting firm. So one of the other competitor in Indian market for us is Sprout India. Sprout India. It is a it is India's leading food and agri business consulting firm, and they do provide the same uh, services that we provide, like uh, you know, product execution, implementation, market analysis, and uh, drawing market strategies. So, next slide, sir. Okay, thank you. So when it comes to marketing sales, we have consulted firm. So our marketing sales, uh, they, uh, we can deal it in a three aspects, in a three simple aspects: the pricing, positioning, and promotion. When it comes to pricing, the pricing structure in our firm it will be either an house hourly basis or a or per project basis. Something depends on the project. It mostly depends on the type of service actually. So and the charge it varies accordingly. So and sometimes it can be settled on uh, negotiations on the direct clients. So. Based on the type of service, you know, we consider the cost. We also consider cost of product, and uh, after considering all these aspects, then we charge our clients with a fair and decent price. So when it comes to positioning, sir, I mean, our we can differentiate. We have studied our uh, comp uh, competition very profoundly, and uh, we can differentiate the services from our co competitors in terms of uh, we are fast, uh, economical, and more accurate. And we also uh, looking forward to start uh, IT based services. So when it comes to promotion, we created a very great website, very user-friendly website. It not only attracts the visitors but also we educate the visitors when they come visit our uh, website. So here we can here we also showcase our success stories, our case studies, which will be very useful so that they get uh, some idea on the how the this form works, how it can be used for them. So we also write some regular blog uh, posts in the agri magazines or journals. So and at the same time, account-based marketing, which is uh, the next level strategy, marketing strategy. So we here uh, 
I mean, we develop the email list and we send the content regularly. So, and at the same time, we also develop some relations with the people, you know, with who are the connectors. I mean, who are the connecting link between us and our target communities. So, at the same time, we also attend and speak with the local events, like uh, so that it is, it is like opportunity to educate farmers and also raising awareness to to farmers. So, everyone in all the partners and the will stop in our company. We always uh, maintain an active LinkedIn. So it, you know, LinkedIn is basically it is a networking platform. It helps us uh, to a huge extent because ours is a consulting firm. So networking matters most for us. Next, next question. Okay. So when it comes to services, we we offer a very wide range of services. So and the first we are we are doing for over three five five types. So if you look at the form first tier advisory here we. service we do service by for the farmers particularly who seeking the knowledge regarding fertilizers to be used in the field so we are use the uh, soil testing laboratory and the third party so fertilizer we suggest the fertilizers on the basis of availability of soil nutrients and not the crop so and the second tier of the service we provide is we complete uh, we provide the complete advisory services on fertilizers based on the soil condition crops so we also advise on how to apply the method methodologies and the timing said the worst case the fertilizer should be applied and we also give a report on how to reduce the consumption of fertilizers and we also give advise them on the use of non fertilizers so this is the second tier of uh, uh, service we are putting when we look at the third tier method of uh, service so we are more we focus on the overall economic development of the farmers so we are helping left for your team sorry to interrupt 5 minutes for so all the alerts So here we help in selecting the best crops and uh, geographical conditions. So we also, if you look at the four tier of uh, service uh, retailers, you now the services here is primarily focused on the retailer. In the service, we advise the retailers on what sort of fertilizer they should keep in the store. So when it comes to the third tier of last tier of uh, service, here it is a premium consultancy. It is a premium service solely for the fertilizer. Company manufacturing companies are some huge laboratories. So they focus on providing the data on the fertilizer used in particular geographical area and the results. So for nano fertilizers, companies marketing services are also included in this service. So here we recommend the fertilizers to the farmers and retailers. Next slide. So Rahul sir, thank you. Next slide, sir. Good job. Hello. Interesting. Very good. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? It's not visible for me. Yes, yes, it's visible now. Uh, good evening, sir and batchmates. Good evening. Go ahead. I'm I'm taking the uh, financial plan of our company. Uh, Mike, our company is uh, starting, and we are investing our money, and we are not taking any loan from the outside. So we are planning to invest our own money. So we are uh, okay. taking a few. Money from our side for okay. first uh, farm first year advisory. It will cost around two fifty, and uh, in a farm second advisory, it means farm visit, and in third, it means crop cultivation, and also in a prime retailer, it involves market research data of the locality and sales operation, and we are charging more for premium consultancy around forty thousand because it includes all the research data and marketing of our nano fertilizer manufacturer and also digital technology. So next slide, please. Ashwath sir. Ah uh, yes, I have uh, changed it. It's not showing. Is it uh, not visible? No, no, it's not visible. It is visible for us. Maybe you you have pinned uh, you have pinned it. Could you please uh, pin? Go no, on, sir. It's showing financial plan only. It changed for us. Okay, I will. Sir, can you start without uh, PPT? Okay, okay. I will start without only. Yes, in milestone, uh, we are plan, we are short term goals and also having long term goals of our company. In short term goals, we have to increase our service by three percent over the next three months. It's our goal, and uh, we have to having three new consultant employees over the next five months. And also for company's blog, we are increasing traffic on a company's blog, and also monthly giveaways for customers and social media. And also employee of the month award also we are planning. And also for any social pro. Uh, company, we are CSR activities being done, being done. So we are planning to charity to begin sponsoring, and also we are increasing social media posting to three times a week. 
and next is a milestone uh, long term goals of our company uh, increasing the total income of the company by 10% over the next two years is the main objective of the company and over reduce our expenses by 5% over the next three years and also increase the company share in the market and also we are planning to uh, open three new office locations throughout india apart from hyderabad and also we're planning uh, creating more employment opportunities around 50 new employees nationwide and also we're planning to open some other new scheme and develop and launching and also increase overall company awareness and also we are planning for our main company aim is to sustain sustainability develop efficient and self sufficient and economical production for farmers and we and preserve and protect biodiversity in our uh, agriculture natural resources job yeah. good job dan that's phenomenal thank you very much so i see you have done your market research on the nano fertilizers point of view you did the market research yes sir and uh, you was is an agri consulting firm uh, yes sir and that's why sir our uh, market research also included the uh, total amount of knowledge that the farmers consist as of now okay okay and mainly you will be providing consult farm consulting and advisory services am i correct yes sir to different types of to different types of clients yes sir tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 do you, are you expecting some corporate clients also in this corporate clients uh, sir our service the premium consultancy services for uh, corporate clients which uh, okay. only consists for uh, fertilizers company and research uh, laboratories where we will be providing uh, market research data and uh, the data on uh, how good their uh, fertilizers are working in the market okay. and also marketing services for the multinational companies for their products okay and uh, as a part of this marketing consulting form do you because you have done market research you know uh, would you also like to publish would you also like to do systematic market research collect data and publish market research studies and sell those market research reports to uh, sir that uh, those service comes under our uh, premium consultancy itself where we uh, do the market research for the different companies according to their needs and then uh, provide the data to them only good very interesting being agri business guys i'm very happy you are saying consulting itself is a business you know manage is a is a is a nodal center for one one um, nabards program um, you know that's called acab agri clinics agri business center program where yes. you know bs agri graduate wants to establish you are you are this this goes in line with agri clinic uh, you know agri clinic and agri business center scheme and they will give you 25 lakhs per head as a as a some kind of you know loan out of which some will be subsidized you don't have to pay entire 25 lakhs back and also there will be a moratorium you don't have to pay for 2 years only your repayment starts and the interest rate is also very subsidized very yes, interesting i am very happy that you went for this kind of project that's very good i i really liked it because the concept the concept and how you went so oh, i have a question please sivaranjani go ahead uh, yes uh, so uh, like uh, basically like a nano uh, tech uh, it is still a blooming business uh, as far as we know the researches are still going on so sir how will you tackle like if you in uh, because you uh, basically deals with consultancy if anyhow something uh, uh, oppose this comes up or something how will you uh, go for that in consultancy business ma'am as mentioned our uh, one of our services for consultancy is for nano fertilizers manufacturing firm itself where we will be providing them data on uh, how uh, their nano fertilizers are working because uh, we know this is a, a new technology and still in development so the many companies and laboratories are seeking for the data on how the nano fertilizers are actually working in the field and uh, coping up with the different environmental condition so we are in the part of itself uh, where we conduct the uh, research on how well it is uh, working for the farmers and what are the problems the farmers are facing so uh, that's what are one of the motives okay so that explains thank you three services uh, our first three services help us to collect the data and uh, we can provide the uh, those data collected from the first three service to the oh. premium uh, fifth service right so the, so yours is like an M- mr is pa- partly mr organization and partly agri yes, consulting sir. yes sir okay fantastic thank you thank you very much yes some more questions but uh, have you shown year 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 year 5 what and how your business is going to grow up and what uh, the profitability sir, 
sir that is shown in our uh, uh, b plan report okay uh, complete detail and complete analysis is uh, shown there with okay. a gross market margin of uh, uh, 10% for uh, the upcoming 5 years and then 20% for the next 10 years sir. okay great great thank you very much so uh, both team sir a question uh, yeah yeah sumit go ahead yes sir sir the business is self funded uh, the the business model is self funded yes, and uh, the viability is uh, or the the viability for an uh, to establish is about more than 2 to 3 years so how will you restrain this uh, this many years with, uh, have you sufficient funds or are you or will you be uh, will you prove yourself in in a coming ahead time or in coming ahead time will you go for uh, ventures or angel investors or or you will stick to self funding because there will be a state where you should expand yourself which where you should get more we should grab more opportunities and where funds will be much needed and your self funding is not an uh, reliable way of funding or or reliable way of expanding so what what do you think about expanding is self funded is self funded uh, initially is is okay but when when expanding you will need to have some uh, help or you will need to make uh, yes, support uh, uh, sir actually uh, for the starting period itself for the first 5 year we will be working on our own and as mentioned by rahul sir in uh, in the ppt in the upcoming 10 years we will be expanding it to the three more uh, states in our country and uh, we'll be expanding on a greater scale uh, as per the time consists and uh, as per the business boom we will be uh, getting support from the uh, different angel investors uh, according to the not because of our education or uh, our project itself but uh, on the basis of our uh, performance and uh, our experience uh, which we gain in the next coming 5 uh, years sir. good question very okay, good question okay. excellent question answer your very good question sir. sumit thank you you are really business minded that's a great question thank you very much excellent well done